So hi, hello and welcome, Micropunter here. I want to give a little update video or a little follow-up video rather um, to a video that I released a few days ago. Um, that's uh, basically the footage that you see here in the background is uh, basically shows some jam and I tested it uh, by putting a little white speck uh, that I found there uh, under the microscope because I wanted to know if the jam is spoiled, if we can still can eat it or not. And I received several comments, uh, of course, uh, and uh, uh, some people are now very interested in that and they basically want to now buy a microscope uh, to check water, for example, if the water is drinkable or not, and also other food products. And uh, I just want to clarify a little bit and explain to you why you cannot use a microscope to check for food quality. Now, of course, you're going to say, now that's kind of a strange, am I not just doing that right now? I picked up a little speck here and put it under the microscope to figure out what it is. Yeah, but this is simply because I wanted to know what this little speck is, this little what is supposed to be a colony, right? Um, but if you just put water samples um, or food samples directly under the microscope, then chances are pretty good that you're not able to see bacteria even though the food might already be spoiled. And I need to explain this. And the reason is, is because the bacterial concentration um, is generally too low to be directly observed under the microscope. So what you have to do is, is if you want to see bacteria in water or check if they're there, um, then you have to filter the water and then you have to analyze the filter because any uh, bacteria that might be in the water basically will be caught in the filter and then what you do is, is you take the bacteria from the filter and you uh, put it on growth medium on agar medium agar plates nutrient medium and then you're able to grow the colonies there and then you can do further tests and if you want to check food directly for the presence of bacteria whether the, whether the food is spoiled or not then chances are pretty good that you're also not able to see uh, bacteria uh, because uh, in many cases the food uh, itself covers um, all of the bacteria that are there. So the concentration of bacteria is still too low um, to be directly observed under the microscope. So um, in short, um, food safety is really important and you do not want to um, basically put yourself into a false um, sense of security by putting it under the microscope and then you assume everything's fine because you're not able to see bacteria. But actually, trust me, chances are pretty good that they could be there. Um, and the next thing is, is just because bacteria are there, um, basically you don't know what they are. Right. So this is another thing is, is you have to do further tests, chemical tests uh, um, to actually identify the bacteria, but this cannot be done with a microscope. So generally, uh, in summary, yeah, use microscopes to observe the environment, to observe nature, but do not do any food quality checks um, with a microscope because it's simply not going to work. Um, you have to do additional um, tests here um, and you have to culture the bacteria and you have to do additional uh, possibly uh, biochemical tests or even DNA tests if you are more into the sciences and research. There's so many bacteria out there that many of them have not even been identified yet. But microscopes alone are um, an interesting and important additional tool, but on their own, they're not enough. And I would like to also now use this opportunity to advertise a little bit uh, my microscopy um, affiliate shop on Amazon. Um, there is a link uh, here and uh, yeah, uh, visit the shop, uh, browse around a little bit. Uh, and uh, this way, um, maybe um, it's going to be more efficient for you to find uh, microscopy related products because I already selected a few of them for you. I'm going to leave it at that now. Happy micro hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.